We are here with Nick Barnett and David Menel with Mippin, and they will show us today how uh, their app generator can generate a BlackBerry application in a couple of easy steps. Yeah, and, and hopefully less than 10 minutes. Very nice. So we've got the app generator here on the laptop? Yeah, exactly. So pretty much to use the BlackBerry app generator, you simply use a desktop browser and you go to blackberryappgenerator.com. Currently it's invite only, but we're going to release the tool to more and more publishers um, over the next couple of weeks. It's really easy. We made building an app a four step process. And the first step is we collect the content of the publisher. So you simply point your online content, which could be, a, be on a Facebook fan page, YouTube posters, Tumblr, Blogger, or you um, paste in the URL of your RSS feed. In this case, let's build an app for 4BB.com. You put in the URL and hit add content. What happens now is this, our servers go out and fetch the content from your website, which pulls in the latest article straight away, which you can interact to this in the emulator. And there's a great article already about MIP and Power in the App Generator, so very topical. There are a couple of things you can do in terms of layout. You can switch to uh, what we refer to as Spotlight. Spotlight means the first article is always rendered twice the size of the other articles in the list. Or if your content is entirely image based, you could have a gallery. Very nice. Uh, so, what do you guys prefer? Spotlight? Let's go with Spotlight. Let's go with Spotlight. <laughs> um, you press done. Now you can actually add additional channels. So it's up to you. You can have up to four channels and of content. Your content obviously is already in English, but just imagine you guys would be based. Um, so you do support other languages yeah. and automatically convert it? Let's, let's, but for fun, let's switch you guys over to Arabic and see what happens. Oops, the entire user interface switches over right. and the uh, UI strings, so the interface language, is now Arabic. You can see this is an Arabic timestamp. Right, yeah. Right. Very exactly. smart. And this is really key. So it's a global tool. There's no barriers anymore for anybody building an app. It's a website. Right. You go to and you build an app in any language the content is in. Here, I just make Dubas one feed so far. I press the next step. And now here comes the interesting bit. We have to brand your application. The first item we ask you is your um, logo. The logo sits at the top here. And pretty much what you do, you point to a file on your hard disk. I went to your Facebook page and downloaded your logo. Mm -hmm. And here you can see a little cropping tool. And here we go. So let's crop um, your logo into the top section and define our background color for the logo here. You can see it's really nice if the logo blends into a single white color. We press done. We then define the frame colors. Let's give you a green color and also the link color. So the way links are highlighted in here can be changed. And of course we need an icon. Every app needs an icon. And same thing applies. I can use the same one. You can use transparent graphics as well. Um, you can apply your own effects. And let's put it in. And again, everything is live preview. So it's That's always good. important on icons that they actually have to work on a small um, pixel size as well. So not too much detail, but your one scale. I got the approval so nobody can sue me now. <laughs> Press it's continue. On video. Yeah, it's on video. The guy said yes. Um, What's happened here, let's go down, 
So now the technical bit happens. Um, so now our servers go out and pretty much compile your app binaries. And not only does it produce one app, it produces actually three different apps. There's one app for OS 5 and 6 devices, which still have a huge install base, specifically um, through Europe and Indonesia. Right. And we also build an OS 7 app, which pretty much has the unique feature you can connect the app to BBM. So pretty much you can share the app to your BBM buddies, you can share individual articles via BBM. It's quite a good way, yeah. especially as a publisher, a great way to get additional downloads. Because right. every time you tweet an article or BBM an article out of your app, there's a link to the app, and if your right. buddy doesn't have it, you can download from Apple. Awesome. And we also build uh, the Playbook app. That whole building process can take between 3 to 10 minutes, and that kind of depends on the signing servers from BlackBerry. So pretty much we now have our apps queued because each app which gets published to AppWord needs to be digitally signed. So we're now pretty much in the queue for the BlackBerry server to um, put kind of an approval stamp on that app. Once the app is finished, it goes into this state, which pretty much then enables you to submit the app into the vendor portal. So a last quick review, does your icon look good? Is your content right? Is your color palette right? And then all you do is you put in the email address of your vendor portal right. account and hit submit. Yes. And then all you have to do, you can see this one was your quick build. Yeah. So it was less than two minutes. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Yep. And that's all you did. So pretty much process which normally takes three to four months. It costs right. you money. It's now ten minutes and free. Excellent. Thanks to the BlackBerry app generator. And can, uh, can we see the playbook um, version that you showed? Uh, so you can see how the <laughs> right, yeah, the, the newspaper. You showed us the newspaper that was really impressive. Yeah. Yeah, they, that way. Right, yeah, this is the. And so this is, this is the. Uh, yeah. The app with the. Uh, I do one at a time, I think it might look better. Just, isn't it better to show one at a time given the fact that they're different contents? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, pretty much what we did now, um, you've seen, it took us five, six minutes to build the app, and this is now the app pretty much on our device. And pretty much what it is, even though it's written in web technologies, what we made sure is that it feels like a native app. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. So, pretty much the bounciness and the functionality. It looks like a native app, so you get all the menus you're used to. Plus, you can also um, use swipe gestures on touch devices, and you can also pretty much uh, connect the application via BlackBerry like Messenger, and then share it with your buddies. So pretty much, you hit connect, and then the app pretty much verifies itself with the BBM servers, and then. Once that is done, you pretty much select your contacts you want to share the applications with. Cancel that. And on a playbook, of course, an app needs to be slightly different. So a, a normal list would just look a bit stretched, to be honest, on a 7-inch device. So what we did, we pretty much looked at the more unique form factor. And especially that is a landscape device. So instead of like laying out the content, um, Vertically, we scroll up and down, we laid it out horizontally. Yes. And here you can see the different layout channels. Again, you still have the, uh, the smoothness of the animations. And if you go inside an article, you kind of read it on a level above, yeah. where you can then swipe between the different articles and close it with a nice animation. To select different content channels, you have a little selector. And you can read the different articles. And that's exactly the experience you would get for your app. Yeah, it's beautiful. Once the app is live and uh, an app. Very nice. Very cool. And so then for BlackBerry 10, um, the plans are to also offer the app generator, which will yeah, so eventually. Yeah, for BlackBerry 10, um, the most immediate step for us is, as you can see, we build a different UI experience for BlackBerry right. for each device platform. So we've already started to do some prototyping work for BlackBerry 10. This is a demo that we've got up and running already for one of our magazine titles, right. OK Magazine. Yeah. Um, and our plan now is to build this as a totally robust application template for the BlackBerry 10 platform. Excellent. Once we have that, we'll then add the 
Black Boy 10 templates to the portfolio of templates that we currently have right. uh, in the app generator. And one thing that's really cool is every app that's already been built. So let's say it takes us two months to add Black Boy 10 functionality. Every app that's been built up to that point, overnight we can flick a switch and rebuild all of them so they all get Black Boy 10 versions. Which is actually great. So there's no there's kind of no downside right. in getting involved in app generators early. We can uh, we can make sure that every app that's ever built on app generator becomes a Black Boy 10 variant. That's amazing. That's yeah. Yeah. And then here's a quick UI demo of the app. So we wait went for almost similar approach we did for the OS 7 devices, but here we have a double spotlight. Right. And what is of course completely different is the, the signature animations. Yeah. So yeah. we don't just copy the UI of OS 7, we completely gonna go, um, either we're gonna use Cascades, right. or if we don't use Cascades, we're at least gonna mimic the UI of Cascades yeah. within the application. So this is a sneak preview of this application. Excellent. Very nice. Everything's Great. amazing. Thank you guys. We're very excited about it. Actually. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you both for joining us. No worries. And we look forward to, uh, to see the MIPIN uh, app generator when BlackBerry 10 comes out. Yeah. As I said, like, register now. We're going to um, let people in gradually to the tool. And I think we should have everybody who signed up today should be in the beta within the next couple of weeks. Very Just excellent. for information, we uh, the tool was obviously announced at the keynote today, so that was about five hours ago. Yes. We had over 1,100 um, email requests. Nice. And, in the, and if, if yeah. only half of these people build an app, that means in the next couple of days, Apple is going to have more than 100,000 apps. Right. Will you be conducting any sessions at BlackBerry 10 Jam? Not uh, this week. Okay. Um, excellent. At some point soon. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you both. Excellent. Thanks a lot.